Hey guys, it's Superhero Week here on Cinefix. So today on What to Watch, the show that lets you know what's streaming online now, we're bringing you superhero movies for the super fan. Here we go. Ooh, I got it. I got it. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Wait, 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 cool. I got it. Okay. So by now, you should have seen all the major superhero movies that came out in the last couple years. So today we're giving you a list that'll provide a little bit of a different perspective. First up is Marvel's Ultimate Avengers, the direct-to-DVD animated flick that you may have missed. The movie's based on the Marvel comic series The Ultimates, and it's somewhat similar to the 2012 Avengers, but different enough that it provides an awesome companion piece. Nick Fury assembles S.H.I.E.L.D., aka Supreme Headquarters International Espionage Law Enforcement Division or Strategic Hazard Intervention Espionage Logistics Directorate, or Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division, depending on who you're asking. Either way, it's a mouthful. S.H.I.E.L.D. is assembled, and the reluctant superheroes band together to fight for the good of mankind. The S.H.I.E.L.D. cast of superhumans includes Ant-Man, Black Widow, Captain America, Wasp, The Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, and so much more. It's awesome. Fun fact. The sequence of Captain America risking his life to stop a bomb is taken straight from the pages of The Ultimates No. 1. The movie's definitely a great origin story to get a refresher right before Captain America Winter Soldier comes out on April 4th. Was he wearing a parachute? No. No, he wasn't. Check out Ultimate Avengers now on Netflix. Batman. Batarang, pipe bombs, utility belts. Utility uh, belt. Green Arrow has a bow and arrow. Okay. Why do you need all those? I'm making up my own superhero. Super is also streaming on Netflix. The movie follows Frank, played by Rain Wilson, as the average guy whose wife, Liv Tyler, falls for Kevin Bacon, the shady drug dealer. To win her back, Frank decides to become a real-life superhero, dubbing himself the Crimson Bolt. Since he's anything but powerful, Frank uses his trusty pipe wrench to uphold justice in the bad part of town. Hey! Don't butt! Who do you think you're fooling? I just saw you... <laughs> This movie is like if Scorsese made kick-ass on meth, and it's awesome. The incredibly graphic violence is only made better when Ellen Page decides that she needs to be Frank's sidekick. Ta-da! How do I look? That's inappropriate. Calling herself Bolty, Page uses metal claws like Wolverine. She's totally psychotic and also lovable at the same time. It's very weird. You just sit here and wait for crime to happen? That's right. <sighs> this is so boring! Fun fact, Super's writer-director James Gunn has a history of over-the-top violence in a comedic setting, as in his films like Slither and Dawn of the Dead, so it should be interesting to see how his writer-director credit will play out in the new Guardians of the Galaxy. The most famous name in American comic book history. That's Stanley. Stanley, 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 Stanley! With great power! <laughs> The Stanley documentary is streaming on Amazon. As the co-creator of Spider-Man, Hulk, X-Man, Thor, Ant-Man, Fantastic Four, Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer, Iron Man, and over 200 other comic book characters, you cannot not have a conversation about Stan Lee when talking about superheroes. Now in his late 80s, the With Great Power documentary provides an entertaining account of Lee's backstory, painting him as the charming, lovable character we've all come to know. Unlike a lot of documentaries that try to uncover and expose their subject, With Great Power takes the audience on a joyful ride of nostalgia, providing great insight behind the scenes of the Marvel Universe. I promise, it'll make you smile. I want to tell you it's the longest overnight that anybody ever could have. To rewatch some of the go-to superhero flicks online, Netflix has Iron Man, Avengers, Spider-Man, The Crow, and more. Then Amazon Prime's got Man of Steel, Thor, Kick-Ass, and Justice League War. Admit it. Fine! I like, I love, I love the house bunny. I knew it. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen the movies on this list and what superhero movie you're going to be watching next. Subscribe to Cinefix for more What to Watch every Thursday and let me know what list I should be doing next week. Oh, I can see up your skirt. No, you can't. <laughs>